in commitment 2014, less than 24 hours after the primary, the race for governor is already taking a negative turn. Republican Larry Hogan goes right for the jugular in a new internet ad calling Democratic nominee Anthony Brown incompetent. 11 News reporter George Lettuce is live in the newsroom with that story. George. Well, Donna, you could call the ad creative in its presentation, but right after it appeared on YouTube today, the Democratic Party was calling it despicable. Well, thank you all very, very much. Newly minted Republican nominee Larry Hogan's ad is a play off the Dos Equis beer, most interesting man in the world commercials. Stay thirsty, my friend. But to Hogan, Brown is anything but interesting. He is the most incompetent man in Maryland. Stay uninformed, my friends. Brown did not hold back when asked about it during a thank you to voters event in Baltimore. You know, it's unfortunate that uh, Mr. Hogan would start the campaign with a negative ad, uh, but in a way, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, he doesn't really have a record to run on. It's Brown's record Hogan seems to be focused on so far. The average middle class family is now paying $4,600 more per year as a result of these O'Malley Brown tax increases. People are fed up. We're almost on the verge of a tax revolt here in Maryland. Back to that ad, the state Democratic Party calls it despicable because of the last shot showing Brown and running mate Ken Ullman flexing. But the party says they were zacking a pose popularized by late University of Maryland student and basketball team manager Zach Letterer during his fight with cancer. Party chair Yvette Lewis, quote, I can't understand how Mr. Hogan could actually think that it's appropriate to exploit Zach's message of hope for his own political gain. The Hogan campaign provided this screenshot of the photo. It says it lifted from Anthony Brown's Facebook page, quote, that was the part of our ad with which they took issue. Our use of a Facebook photo of Brown and Ullman flexing for the camera that lacked any caption whatsoever indicating what it was for. We thought the lieutenant governor might have at least wanted to respond to the ad's critique of his administration's 40 consecutive tax hikes. Now, the Democratic Party says the zacking photo was taken March 21st of this year, which was declared zacking day shortly after Zach's death. The screenshot the Hogan campaign provided us shows the photo was not posted to Brown's Facebook page until May 10th. But take a look at we, what we found. We dug into the photos section of Brown's Facebook page and found the photo was originally posted March 21st with a caption clearly explaining they were posing in honor of Zacking Day. We're live in the newsroom, George Lettuce, WBIL, TV 11 News.